Hi and welcome back to another card making video and today we have a new release by Alte New. This is part of a blog hoop, make sure to visit my blog to join the giveaways and for today I picked my top favorite products from the release. I made sure to narrow it down so I only have two of them. One is with flowers and it's called Lovely Daisies. And there are so many reasons why I picked up this die set as my favorite. First of all, the flowers are really big, so they make a great statement on top of your card. Plus, they are really easy to put together and you will see that later on. My second pick is this one, just because it gives those lovely frames, which I think that can be used throughout the year, along with the flowers, of course. So both of them are really versatile and let's make a card. Today, instead of making a fun and bright card, which um, you can uh, probably tell how it would look just from the photos on the packaging, I'm going for a vintage look and feel, so you can see that they both work perfectly for that style as well. I went ahead and I cut out the bigger frame using gold cardstock, and now I'm picking two shades of red for the flowers and two shades of yellow, actually a yellow and an orange for the flower center. I did create my card base out of this dark green cardstock. I absolutely love how uh, colors look really bright when you place them on top of a dark base. And I'm just inking up the edges with black suit just to give a more dramatic look. I'm also inking up the edges of this scrap piece of paper. This comes from a really old collection and um, it has that vintage look and feel on it. You can uh, work with a book page for that as well. And I inked up the edges by using vintage photo. I'm doing the same for all the cutout pieces just to give that uh, vintage look and feel. And then it's time to put my flower together. There are only two layers for each of the parts of the flower. So you have uh, two different layers for the petals. You just lay one on top of the other. I made sure that the top one is lighter in color. Then you see there are two layers for the stems as well as two layers for the center. Really easy to put together, but it really makes a big impact. Absolutely love the finished look. And as I am putting the flower together, don't forget to click the like button if you are enjoying the video, as well as leave me a comment. These are just a few ways to support the channel and it really makes a difference. I did put together another identical flower from the same Lovely Daisies die set using the same colors. And I also cut out the word hugs from gold cardstock using the Mega Stamps Frames die set. At the back of my stamp frame, I did add thin strips of foam tape so that I add a bit of dimension and you can easily turn this into a shaker card, however, I'm going simpler for today. And this whole panel is going to go on my green card base by using glue. The card base is by the way 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half, so a standard A2 card size. I place the sentiment on a little circle that I cut out and I'm just creating my composition, making sure that I don't stick the leaves on top of my card completely flat, just to give some extra dimension. And the stem is going completely flat, however, for the flowers I will use some foam tape. It's a quick and simple card to put together and I made sure that this video was super small so that you can easily hop along with us and see what the rest of the designers created. I absolutely love the finished result and as I always say, a card with flowers is perfect for any occasion, so all you have to do is to just change the sentiment. So I hope you had fun today, that you got inspired, links to everything I used can be found down below. Thank you all for joining me and I'll see you all next time.